Drake Music Scotland sends specialist musicians to work with pupils with additional support needs in special schools and units across Scotland. Each year in Edinburgh, nine schools receive long-term projects. The aim of each of these projects is to enable pupils to play, learn, compose and perform music. This is achieved by making music more accessible with the use of figure notes and technologies, and the regular weekly sessions encourage progression amongst the participants. It is Monday morning and Leah from Drake Music Scotland is arriving at Pilrig Park School to deliver a series of music workshops. During her time at Pilrig Park School, Leah is working with three different classes. Over the course of the first few sessions, Leah gets to know the pupils. Hey. Hey. I know it's her, it's her. This is John. Hey. 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 Good morning, Good morning, Sebastian. Good morning, Tony. How are you today? Good. 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 I have a bass class. So often it's difficult to transition to other classes or to go to other sessions. But the music seems to be, as soon as I say music, they are quite happy to go, which is really good feeling for me. It is Wednesday afternoon and Farhad is beginning a new music project with a class at Woodlands School. Hi, my name is Farhad and I am I'm a musician working for Drake Music Scotland and what I do here in schools is try and help people to enjoy music and jam. My plan is to get to know the students, uh, get to know bits about what they like, what type of songs, and hopefully try and create something musical with them from what I can gather and what we can co-create together. Can you say good afternoon to Farhad? Hi! We are doing this workshop with General Law, which are the first year students, and the age is from 12 to 13. kind of created their own class bands so we've got two main class bands we've got the first one which have named themselves Godzilla and the Mungus and then we've got the lunch band and then there is third class and they're kind of sort of really free we've got loads of different cover things happening so they're just kind of they very much lead their own sessions depending on who's in. What we've done, or well, what I've done over the weeks is we've had a shot, so we had like a couple of weeks so we've done rhythms, so we've done loads of drums and everyone got a drum, then we've done other weeks where everyone got an iPad, we've done other weeks where everyone got tunes. So we've kind of tried, sort of let them have a shot of everything, like a really good go, and then they've decided what they like best, so that's then their, their instrument for their band. Hi! Hi. Hi. My name is Daisy, I have this. I think iPad microphone. My name is Suha and I play iPad in music. During this project, Leah is using the Thumb Jam musical instrument app for iPad. In the Thumb Jam app, the player can change the instrument sound, the key, and configure the number of musical notes available to play. We've sort of done the rhythm work, we've done all the prep work kind of sneakily so they're not aware that they've actually done loads of what we're doing so it'll be kind of get them to do it again but putting it together so that's what I'm really looking forward to is seeing what the end product will be. Alright, here we go! Over the weeks, Leah works with the pupils to record and then layer different instruments on top of each other as they start to make their own compositions. 
This is balanced out with songs and games to help make the environment feel familiar and comfortable. Meanwhile, in Woodlands, General O have been discovering different instruments too. Each of the participants find instruments they like to play. They often share their favourite instruments so that everyone can have a go. Let's see what instruments they've been using. So when they are playing the instruments, they are interacting to each other, they are taking turns to listen to each other and they are also interacting and losing, coming out of the shell. During the sessions, the group practice lots of musical techniques, like listening to each other, clapping rhythms and call and response. One thing that we've tried to practice every week is um, our conducting skills. So we learnt a few sort of signs to conduct the orchestra and um, it's been really good for, I think, helping bring some, some shy students to the fore and helping them actually just lead their own session. Throughout all these weeks they have been developing their skills, just being more confident to take part in their class and using the instruments and uh, leading the groups. It's been quite positive there, the outcome. Try a lot of kind of improvising around with uh, figure notes colours, um, bits of colouring in shapes and seeing what that kind of sounds like. Toast, balls. Yeah, and meatballs. Toast or meatballs? Macaroni, chicken. Which, which one was your favourite rhythm? Was it spaghetti? Yes. Or macaroni? We then ended up colouring in our figure notes rhythms and it's these these that eventually turned into this, which is the figure note score for their, for their own song. Figure notes is a form of musical notation where each musical note is represented by a coloured symbol. The colours repeat, for example all the C's are red and all the F's are blue, but the shape changes depending on the octave, so a high C is a different shape to a low sounding C. You then match that symbol to a sticker on your instrument. The matching element means this way of playing is instantly accessible. Figure notes can also be used with digital instruments and apps like ThumbJam. Now we have for two of the classes, they have made their own piece. And the other class we've been doing cover versions of four of their favorite songs. Uh, we had two students, one of their favourite cartoons was Coco Melon and uh, the other student made his own song called Bossy Boots. Bossy, 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 bossy boots! <laughs> and that's a big part of our, it's the bridge of our, of our song. Right, Coco Melon, Bossy Boots. Yes. Excellent, well done. 
definitely one of the successes was the class that we're doing, kind of the cover version of the kind of the youngest class. One of them took the microphone and he stood up and he like sang and jumped up and down like a kind of rock god. It's like something clicked at that point and they were like, yeah, I can sing and then others were drumming and yeah, so that's probably the best sort of moment. Well, I've learned many things from Farhad, and it's the way he approaches music, because I think I was doing it in a different way, so now I'm not uh, scared to put the instruments in front of them and make them play. That was something that was boring me to how was how he was going to use the techniques applied in an instrument. And now seeing Farhad, I, I'm more confident to do it. Well, I think in general they, hope, <clears throat> they all have benefit of, of the music, like a language and as a tool to use just to bond together and do something together. One of my pupils, uh, one of the girls in my class, she's very quiet, but as soon as she's in the music session, she's quite involved, actually. That environment actually seems to help them a lot to manage and regulate themselves in various different ways. We really try and adapt our sort of teaching style of and um, session style of music to the participants. It's completely tailored for them and I think to experience uh, music as a group um, is beneficial to anyone and everyone. As Leah and Farhad's time in the schools draws to a close, it is clear that everyone is really proud of the music they have made and they have all really enjoyed their time together. Goodbye everybody. Bye. Bye.